Five, four, three, two, one. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is a Wednesday night for us, Thursday Wednesday morning late night. for you guys. As you know, we do the Bible study. I think it was a great Bible study. Yeah, it was awesome. But it is really late. So um, we're not going to have a, a long devotional, but we didn't want to not do a devotional. We wanted to just say good morning to you guys. Yep. You know, and... Um, Plus, Raina really looks forward to us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She says, can you save all your your little disagreements and everything for the devotionals, We please? never disagree. She says, can you just save it all? Because it really starts my day and it makes me laugh. That's weird. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> because she kept hearing us when we were at the church. And she was in the front mopping, and you kept saying, stop mm -hmm. it. I go, you stop it. And she'd always poke her little uh, head. She kept poking her little head in, and then she'd laugh. <laughs> I'm like, she thought it was funny. Because you guys know, you know, we always come in late on Wednesday. And then especially today, we have a, a celebration of life at our church on Saturday. Yeah. And um, uh, Sharon was asked to sing a song, so she wanted to run through it a few times. And, and then cleaning had to be done, and it just got really late, guys. But... Yeah, we're trying, what we're trying to do, we're trying to kind of get used to this whole, um, because the whole disinfecting and doing all of that, what I'm trying to do is get into a schedule that we leave early, because I get out of work um, a little bit early right now, so by three, four, by four o'clock, we're already pretty much already on our way over there, um, and then once I get there, start the cleaning process, start disinfecting and everything. And I want to get into the habit of doing that because I know that there's a, a Thursday Bible study that takes place and then a Friday Bible study. And that, that way I'm sure that it's clean for those mm -hmm. days. And then on Saturday we have this thing. Um, we have uh, the celebration of life. Yeah. And then we'll have to disinfect that day again all over. We'll have to clean all over again and then get ready for Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, guys, it... It does get busy, you know, it, it, but it's it's something that we have to do um, so that we can keep our family safe. You know, we want to keep our family safe. We want to keep them healthy. Mm -hmm. um, so it's definitely worth every moment of it. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, um, for the last few years, for the most part, we've done Bible study on books of the Bible. And we finished Ephesians last week. So mm -hmm. today, I wasn't ready to start a new book yet. So I picked a topic. And I think it was a buzzword topic, a controversial topic sometimes, is <laughs> speaking in tongues. And I'm like, you know what? I, I want to hit this thing biblic biblically. What does the Bible say? And to, to try my hardest to be non-biased and just approach it with Scripture. You know, there not, was a lot of good questions. Yeah, there was a, a lot, lot of good people questions. had good questions. I, I love that you shared your your first ex, your first experience and everything, because to me, when I first I didn't know anything about tongues because I never I didn't grow up in a Christian home, mm -hmm. you know, so I knew nothing about any of that. So for me to come in at 17 and a half years old or 18 years old when I did, yeah. and then I start hearing this weird stuff, I was ready to run back and oh. be like, what am I getting myself into? What is this? You know, and, and I did. I remember that I just didn't understand what was going on. I didn't know. I was, it was just so odd to me. And I thought, at first I thought, is this stuff demonic or is this like some spirits or what they're calling it? I didn't know because I was so young. They talk about a holy ghost, like a ghost? You know, like because I didn't know any yeah. of those phrases or those catchwords or anything. So I really didn't know. All I knew are the things that were tangible to me. Yeah. And that's why I'm, I always say that whenever I see a woman act a certain way or exemplify a certain way, those are the things that would catch my attention, you know? And those are the things that would stand out to me and be like, man, I want to be like that, you know? And those yeah. are the things that I would ask God for. Lord, I want to be like that. Because I didn't know how to ask him, like, I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I want this. I want that. Because I didn't know what it was. Yeah. So in order for me to even ask any of that, it's like, you know, it's, it's like to me, I thought, well, we better be careful with the things we ask for, you know. But I remember getting baptized. I got baptized in September 
And this was in 1995. And I remember that I got baptized. They had this like big pool thing outside mm. of the church and everybody had chairs outside, oh, you know, yeah. big old VO style. And I remember going down and I came back up and I started crying. Like I was crying, like I just felt like free and I started crying. And as soon as I started crying, all of a sudden it just started to come out. Yeah. And I was like, I couldn't stop it. I'm like, what's going on? Blah, 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 you know, and I just didn't know what was happening to me. And I remember that I just put my hands up and I was just so broken. And I felt this thing in my stomach. It was like my stomach felt like knotted. Mm -hmm. And it was a feeling that I couldn't even control that my hands were shaking. And I just like, I was crying. And at the same time, you know, speaking in tongues because I didn't even know that it was tongues and I just, but it felt so good. It, it just felt so beautiful after because after it just, I just almost felt like all the weight that I had carried yeah. all my life from all the abuse, from everything that I had been through in life, like that was a moment for me that I actually felt like I took a deep breath and I had never breathed that Clear, well, I, and I said that during Bible study. I said it was as if all the years of hurt and pain and everything has been locked in you, it, it is, and your spirit has been muted, and it was finally released to speak. I, I, you know? I just did you hear when I said that at the Bible I, study? I probably went to the restroom when yeah. you said that because all I know is that everything it almost like everything glimpsed right before me, and it was just gone like that and mm -hmm. like all that pain just turned to something so and I almost felt like I was walking on air like I felt like if I was floating for a moment yeah. because everything felt so light and it felt so amazing and it almost felt like I wanted to stay there <laughs> you know yeah. but I, I I remember that day and it was it was just beautiful you know so if you guys didn't see the Bible study and if you like what we're talking about now, want to know more, we we really broke it down. And I think more could have been said, but I think in an hour, a lot was said. Yeah. You know, and um, I think it was good. And I think it's a good conversation piece, a good thing to think about and ponder about. Absolutely. And and I tried to answer, I tried to answer the best way I possible. Because here's the thing what a lot of people do is, for instance, somebody will say, well, how do you know uh, when you got the Holy Ghost? And somebody will give this really silly, superficial answers like, well, when you know, you know, and you just know. Well, that ain't an answer, <laughs> you know? Or they'll be like, well, you know, how do you speak in tongues for the first time, you know? Well, you just do, brother. Well, that's not an answer. So I, I really tried my hardest to give real, honest, open answers to my best of my ability. Because I didn't want, I, I, I hate cliche Christian answers to stuff. I don't like that. Well, I remember, I remember I had asked at one point, like, because I remember after that time, I would want to feel that again, and it just wouldn't happen. Mm. And I was like, why isn't it happening anymore? Why isn't it happening? And somebody's, well, let me show you. And I'm like, yeah, I, to me, I, I was kind of like, show me, mm -hmm. like, how, what do you mean show me? Like, if you're showing me how to do that, then how does that make it real? Yeah. That's how I felt inside. I just kind mm. of felt like, well, then like you must be, off. then you must be faking it because how do you force yourself to do something that just happens? Because the first time that that happened to me, trust me, I didn't expect it and I didn't want it to happen. I didn't expect it to happen. I didn't know what was happening, number one. Mm -hmm. So how do you teach somebody to do yeah. something like that it doesn't in in my book um lost in the storm actually one chapter is dedicated to when i got baptized and when that happened in solitary when i when i got filled with the holy ghost and with the evidence of speaking in tongues i actually went in high detail in my book about what that experience was for me and, and also my water baptism too which is similar to what you just described yours being yeah so it's just it's yeah. just awesome, though. It's amazing. And, you know, I mean, I, I really, truly believe that if somebody really, truly just 
has that that beautiful true relationship with Christ you know and you ask for those gifts because God doesn't want to give us gifts that we're not going to use hmm. he, he he's saying you know what you you want that gift let me give it to you because it's a gift and a gift is is to put to use he wants us to use our gifts if we don't hmm. use our gifts then he's gonna gift it to somebody who who is going to use it yeah you know we can't stay dormant on the things that the lord gives us we got to hmm consistently put it to use one thing I, I didn't get to say that I, I i just thought of now that you said that mm -hmm. is i don't want anyone to mesh tongues with the gift of the holy spirit because actually the gift of the holy spirit is much more than tongues actually in the bible it says that when they receive that then they receive power to go out and witness so that is just a, a by, tongues is a byproduct of the gift of the Holy Spirit, but the gift of the Holy Spirit is more than just speaking in tongues. It is power. It is boldness. It is dunamis, dynamite, exploding power that allows you to go and preach the gospel, lay hands on the sick, speak in tongues, and cast out demons. So... You, yeah, know, you yeah. know what I love? What I love is when you do the identity class, or yeah. somebody even asked about that during our thing. But what I love is that when you teach the identity class, you teach about a lot of the times people think that once they reach uh, speaking in tongues or having mm -hmm. the gift of tongues, they think that they've already reached the capacity of limit of... Yeah, and that's just the bottom. And that's, and, and that's not even... That's just not even there's so many realms up to where the Lord mm. wants to take you. And that's just the bottom of, of, and people think that they've already reached the, the capacity of the limit of where God can take yeah. them. And there's so much more. Yeah. I remember in these old video games, I don't know how video games are now cause I'm not a gamer anymore. Uh, but there was always levels that you had to unlock and the higher level you got, the more you unlocked, you know, and the more weapons were given to you yeah. and Christians, a lot of Christians, believe and they're taught that tongues is the ultimate unlocking of the ultimate weapon mm -hmm. in actuality mm -hmm. it's just the very first key it's yeah. the first key that unlocks because if god can get a hold of your tongue he can get a hold of you you know and that's where the that's where it begins <laughs> you know so, that's just the beginning <laughs> yeah and, and that is why and see see if somebody doesn't agree or maybe you're wondering how many of you know somebody who speaks in tongues but they still live worldly a lot, right? You know why? Because it's the beginning. They're babies in Christ. When So when people speak in tongues, they're babies in Christ. And unfortunately, they're taught, oh, you've reached maturity. You're this and that. You are up here. and and But yet, I know a lot of people that speak in tongues, and they still falter in their walk. Yeah. But when you come across somebody that cast out demons and lay hands on the sick and they mm -hmm. recover, and they mm -hmm. see, that's a whole different realm. I'm not saying that they're untouchable. I'm not saying that at all because we're all in the flesh and, and we carry our cross daily. So don't get me wrong. Yeah. But you will find more that speak in tongues living worldly than those that walk in power and live worldly. Why? Because it's, it, it, you're, you're elevating your level in the things of Christ. Um, it's not that Christ loves you anymore or it's not like you're closer to God. I'm not saying that. Don't put words in my mouth. But... But basically, tongues is the first thing that unlocks. Yeah. Um, I wanted to share the one of those frames before they're gone. You think I should? Yeah. Everybody on Facebook saw it, and they never got a chance, and they're going to be gone. I thought they're already gone. Well, no one's left. Just one. Yeah. Hold this. All right. Check this out. I get to hold the mic, guys. Don't hold it too close. You'll be super loud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> some of them that are on Hello. Facebook, Oops. some of them are on my Facebook too, though. So they've seen it. I wasn't loud. Mm. I'm serious. Okay. So I'm not sure if I ever showed this to you before, but I painted this on a tile brick a few months ago. Should have brought the little one to you because they could have seen the little one. I sold it. What do you mean, the little the one? The Jesus one. Oh, yeah, it's not this one. And it's not done. I don't want to show that one yet. Oh, okay. And um, so, as you know, I go to this place that does um, reproductions of the original. A lot of painters go there from Tahoe, from re everywhere, huh? from, from everywhere. the Bay Area. Yeah. 
So I took it to him so I can make reproductions of it on on this special paper, huh? Mm-hmm. So anyways, I had it framed. And look, look at that. It's it's Moses holding a staff up. That looks so nice. And I had it. I just seen him today, guys. So I, was I had like, it matted and framed. It's ready to be hung. This is the kit to hang it. And um, anyways, I put it on my Facebook. I picked them up today. I had five of them. Picked them up within two hours. Four were gone. Yeah. This is the only one left. But um, the place that does the reproductions, all I have to do is um, call them to to make more, right? So I had a brother, because one guy already wants this last one. But another brother said, regardless if you sell that one, because I told them I can order more. Yeah. He goes, well, I want two. Well, see, what what we're trying to do is that when he has originals, what we want to do is I want to archive them. So if it's his original paintings, I'm having them archives so that way people can have an opportunity to have his original paintings, um, replicas, because, you know, I know a lot of people can't always afford the originals, um, but I, I, you know, we want to be able to for people to be able to enjoy his artwork. Um, so we're having it archived so that way we can have the replicas. The re, yeah, the yeah. yeah, the G clays done. That's what it's called. G-clay. Yeah, the G clays. Um, so we want to be able to have that available. And that's pretty much just of the originals that he does. Um, we definitely I think maybe you have like three, four archived already so far. Yeah. So like, yeah. um, I, I didn't. When I made these, I made five of them, five reproductions of the original. And um, I did them not knowing. And then the pandemic happened. So the the frame guy was closed down. You guys, you guys saw the video, right? Because mm-hmm. I did a little video there. Yeah, I saw it. And um, I was surprised, guys. I was surprised that when I showed these on Facebook, I had five of them, how fast they sold. And I realized something I hadn't thought of in all this time that a lot of people, God bless them, they like my artwork. And, and that's so humbling, un, I'm honored. But a lot of people can't because usually my originals go at the lowest, 250, 350, up to 500. And I, heck, I can't afford a $500 painting. But I didn't realize there's people that say, I'll pay 80 for a painting. Because these, I, I sell them for 80 besides shipping, you know? And I didn't realize until today when they just went so fast and people were saying, man, I've always loved your artwork. I just can't afford your $500 paintings. Yeah. Or, you know, and so it's a blessing. And plus we're going to be sending out, once they receive it, um, and we know that they received it, we're going to send out the certificate of authenticity. authenticity. Yeah. Yeah. We have to, we owe a Brother Alejandro his mm-hmm. certificate of authenticity. So Brother Alejandro actually bought the original, the original. brick. Mm-hmm. Um, so what happens is everyone that gets one, on the back is going to be, uh, it's like a half sheet, it's a certificate, and it's going to be numbered. Like it's going to be the, the number one or the mm-hmm. number two or number three replica. At, at a certain point, I'm just going to stop it. And that way, it's just a limited edition. And those, th- that's all that's going to be yeah. made and no more will be made. But I had a guy, basically, he says, can you please make two more? So I'm going to talk to him tomorrow. So anyways, the reason I'm showing this because I have this one left. But even if more of you want it, I'm going to call the guy tomorrow and put in an order for more. It's going to be a small amount. It's not going to be a whole bunch, maybe another five. I don't know. But if Just this stop is, it at 10. You know... It really depends on if anybody wants it. Yeah. If not, then, you know, it, it's fine. You know, I, I'm, I'm blessed that four went. And then I already know this last one is going to go. But, guys, it's a good way. It's a really nice painting. I actually want to... He still owes me my painting. You guys remember I told you guys almost since last September, I had the biggest canvas yeah, you're hiding your face, huh? Because you haven't no, done it. I was it. just trying to remember my sentence before. Mm-hmm. So anyways, I have the biggest canvas that I had for my birthday. He still hasn't done it, you guys. But I did tell him that it's going to be an original, and it's it's of a photography that I took. 
photograph. Um, a, fo- a photograph that I took. I, I went out and I was taking pictures and I took this amazing picture of, um, it's just beautiful. I'll, I'll just, just take my word for it. And I told him I want him to paint that for my birthday. But I also told him that I was going to let him archive it and make just a few copies. And G clays. A few G clays and, uh, and be able to offer that one. Um, I, I, I want to share that because once you see it, you're just going to see how amazing. It's called The Meeting. Um, and it's just going to be amazing. So I, I just can't wait till you get that done. Well, when I put an order in, because I have faith that somebody's going to want some more of these by the time I see, put this video out, I actually want to make a big one for the church. Yeah, that'd be nice. And then the new brick I'm doing, because I'm doing this Bible series. The first one was Moses. The next one is of, of the face of Jesus. Um, that one's, I didn't want to show it yet, but I'm going to go and make these of that one. And I'm going to do like this Bible series, you know, because my main one I want to do is the Joseph one, remember? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's another I want to stage that one and take yeah. pictures of that one. So the, the reason I'm saying that is because eventually it'll be the Bible series collection and there's going to be only so many and that's it. And you might want to start because this is the first one. The Jesus is the second one. And I maybe I'll do only five or six of them, but it'll, it'll be the Bible series. You know which one I would love to see? Hmm. You know, the woman with the issue of blood touching the hem oh, of Jesus. Oh, snap. That'll be awesome. Yeah. So, all right, guys. But check it out. If it's something you like, like I said, you know, um, I'd appreciate it. It helps us, you know, and uh, it's a real blessing. I think it's a great painting. I don't know if you can tell, but in the light, there's a cross. Can you see it? Are you pretty No, close? there's no way. Maybe. Oh, yeah, you can. In white. Yeah, I can see it a little bit. I put a cross even though Moses had no idea, you know, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Um, it's late. Hey, guys, we appreciate you guys so much, yeah. you know. And today was really, really, really nice because i just seen everybody um, coming together to answer, like, a lot of the newer people's uh, questions that were on there. Mm -hmm. And... Thank you for doing that. Thank you for being so encouraging with one another, for sharpening one another, um, because that's what we're here for. And let's continue to do that. You know, it, it, it to me, it just brings me, this is how I feel. I literally feel so at peace because before I remember, I used to always have to sit there and be watching the comments like, oh my God, I got to be careful that nobody's going to go on there and, you know, and, and cause havoc or do any of that. But I actually feel so at peace because I feel like I have like family that got our back and that you guys yourselves protect the community, you know, and protect the family and encourage the family and all of that. And I just want to thank you for doing that because it just gives me such peace knowing that I don't have to just stay focused on, mm -hmm. on that and have to be watching it nonstop, that I can actually also be at ease and be able to receive, um, you know, when, when David is speaking, because I too need to be fed, I too need to receive, and it's so important. And it, it, for a little while, it was getting really hard to, to stay focused because I was having to kind of, but now I just, I know that my family is there and everybody is watching out for everyone. You know, when somebody new comes on, you guys greet them, you guys say hello, you make them feel welcomed. When somebody is going and needs prayer, I see people stepping in to say, you know what, I got you in prayer. When somebody has a question, I see somebody popping right up to answer, you know, and to, to just encourage. Mm -hmm. And and I love that. And, and I appreciate you guys so much for doing that because it's giving me that moment to be able to, to ease off a little bit and be able to also receive because I also need that too. So thank you so much for that. Amen. Amen. But we love you guys. Have a good day. Beautiful day. And see you tomorrow. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.